today we're doing a Moulin Rouge Halloween tutorial and um, let's grab the, the bras out, the thongs out and your skirts and go crazy! Fail. Um, one of my most favorite movies ever. Um, when it came out in 2001, I believe, I was. I was seven when that movie came out. And then when I was eight, it came on the TV and this dude, the, the like circus guy, the, the one who sings can can can, that guy, um, he was so f scary to me, oh my god. But then when I turned, um, 15, I saw it a year ago. Um, I saw it again. I fell in love. The songs, the story, Nicole Kidman, Ewan McGregor. Um, so yeah, so now that it's Halloween time again, um, I couldn't let Moulin Rouge out. Um, yeah. Today we're doing Moulin Rouge and I went out with the glitter, I went out with the pink, I went out with the everything. Um, yeah, so if you want to know how I did this, then please keep on watching and I will see you guys in about two seconds, but that I already filmed, so I will see you guys, uh, I don't know, Wednesday when I film a new tutorial. Okay, so of course the first thing to do is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent your eyes from creasing during Halloween. And um, I use my Michael Todd Cream Eyeshadow in Nude and this is my favorite eyeshadow base ever. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Embark by MAC and brush like this to line my upper lash line. And then when I've done that I'm gonna grab a pencil brush like this and make a rounded smoky eye shape. So I'm going right in like that. So that is what we're gonna do first. And then when you have that line, just go with this brush into Embark as well, and then go around into your crease. And go all the way in. In this inner corner, you really want it dark. So go into your crease and go all the way in. Now you want to take a brush like this and blend that baby boy out. So I'm going to grab some Embark again on that brush and fade it. And whatever you're doing with colors and stuff, just make sure you keep everything round because then you get this round shape around your eye and then this liner kicks out. I really love that. Now we're gonna play with some color. I'm gonna grab this color called Sushi Flower by MAC and with that same brush I just wiped it off on my paper towel. I'm just gonna grab that color and you wanna smoke it around the brown. So right above the brown go with that Sushi Flower and don't be scared to go all the way here and under your eyes and in here you just want everywhere where the brown is you want to go around it and here as well and you want to go out of the box and go out of here and go crazy and with your cheekbones you have this like like diagonal part um, follow that with the pink so follow that highlight bony thingy make that pink as well then because I personally thought that this was kind of flat and uninteresting, I'm going to take Sugar Pill um, Love Plus, and this is a fiber red color. And with a brush like this, the Sigma 226, I'm going to go into the color, and that's going between the brown and the 
sushi flower just to give it some more edge so go all the way in and apply that red around it and stuff under as well And then I want that sushi flower to go out extra strong, so I'm going to grab a Sigma uh, 227, and this is a really, really dense and big brush, and I'm going to go back into sushi flower, and just really intensify that around the red color that we just placed. Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to grab Embark again, and take it a little bit further into my eyelid. Then I'm going to grab Carbon, which is just a matte black by MAC, and make it even darker, that crease. Now for the lower lid, we're going to make it really dark and smoky, so I'm going to grab this brush, which is probably one of my favorite brushes by Sigma. This is the 214. Um, I will put a link in the bottom bar where you can get these brushes. And I'm going to go into Embark and just Line this all over your bottom lash line. I really want to make that brown under really, really smoky, so I'm going to grab A217, go in Embark, and just smoke it down. Sugar pills. Um, plum, uh, poison plum, and that's a bright purple color. And with that 226 again, right here, I'm gonna go into that purple, and this is going to be smoked under this brown. So right here, the purple goes. And blend it on top. Now I'm gonna blend things a little bit more out with this brush again. So just take it and just wing it out and brush it out and do your stuff with it. You can also go back into the sushi flower and make that um, nice and vibrant again. And then because I really wanted a cool golden shine, I'm going to grab the prettiest highlighting color I have ever seen in my life. This is the Makeup Studio uh, Lumiere Eyeshadow in Ivory Gold. And this is... Oh, this is amazing. It gives the most beautiful golden sheen ever. Look at it. Wait. Oh, oh, pretty hell of God. You can get it at um, this link right here. Well, that's nice to have it on my nose. Um, I'm first going to start off with the easiest things. Um, I'm going to grab a very pink reflex by MAC. And I'm just going to grab my ring finger, dip it in, and you're going to put that over the sushi flower where you um, have your cheek highlight bone socket thing. I'm going to grab Melon Pigment by MAC, and I got this yesterday at the... <laughs> and the thing is with this pigment, you don't want to be neat with it. I just take my uh, ring finger, I go into that pigment, and I take the lid and squish it onto my finger and what you want to do is you want to like punch it in that inner corner as I did right there. You don't want it to be nice and blended, you just want it to be punched there. And just punch it in that inner corner. Punch, punch, punch. Okay, you can like remove a little bit and play with it, but don't make it too neat because you really want it to be like that messy highlight on the inner corner. Now it's time for the red glitter, my favorite part of this entire look. This really makes it. Um, I'm going to grab Max Eyeliner Mixing Medium and the glitter I'm going to use is by Heavily Naturals. This is Ruby Slippers, so it's just a red glitter. And take a synthetic brush and first Paint a coat of this on your lid, like where you want the pigment to be. And now you take some more onto your brush of that mixing medium and then just go into the glitter and pat this onto your lid. Don't brush it, just pat. Take some more, pat. 
Make sure you keep looking like this because if you look up right now, the crease line will make the uh, will make a line in your glitters of your crease, and then you have this really nasty crease line in your glitter. I did it with this eye, so I'm telling you right now, don't look up until it's fully dried. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab this Mac Black Track Fluid line, and I'm gonna make a line. And it's just like any type of eyeliner, it's just with the wing, you go all the way out. So I don't really think I need to show you guys because it's just, um, well let me show you with the brush right here. You just make a line, blah 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 blah, and when you come here, go out. And then from half of that point where you went out, go back in to make it thicker and just play with it and then you have a nice line. And mascara and black eye color on my waterline and then we will do the lips. So I'll be right back. Okay, for lips you can do two things. That's for... Um, you can do um, like those really, really, really dark burgundy, um, almost um, black lips. You can do that, but I think you kind of look like a hooker when you do that. I know Moulin Rouge is about kind of sort of hookers, but still, let's keep it classy. I started off with uh, Lip Erase, then I applied off Royalty by MAC. This is a baby pink color. And then on top, my new lip gloss, which is a Viva Glam Gaga, which is even prettier than the lipstick. And I want to recommend something that if you do the dark lips, please put this lip gloss on top. This is Maleficent. This is a wrong spell. Oh my god, freaking f Look at her. It's like a beauty on the box inside of in it. Well, in it is pretty too. <laughs> if you are going to do the dark lips, please use this one. And then as a highlight on my cupid's bow, I used the highlight that I used on my brow bone as well. So that completes this entire Moulin Rouge look. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you guys learned something from it. If you are going to be a Moulin Rouge girl for Halloween, please post some pictures. Like send them to me or make a video response. And um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. If you want to know what I use, like a complete list, it's on my website, NikkiTutorials.com. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I love you. Bye.